Well, g'day everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode of Civilization VI Rise and Fall playing as Japan. So we're up to episode 27 now, I believe. And we're getting closer and closer to getting uh, building the uh, Casa de Contrat... I'm not even going to try anymore. And uh, we've... Uh, we're going to try for the Colosseum, although I don't know how successful we're going to be in getting that. And... Yeah, so I was correct about it being... Uh, two culture and two amenity for each city centre. So, um, for, yeah, within six tiles. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's just going to reach there. Oh, no, sorry. It's the actual wonder itself, isn't it? So one, two, three, four, it, that gets that one easily. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it gets uh, Fukuoka as well. So yeah. Now, um, looking at Nan Madol here, we're no longer suzerain of, of Nan Madol. And Pericles is the suzerain of Nan Madol. Uh, so I'm wondering if we should try and take them over. <clears throat> I'll think on that one, because if we do end up taking out Pericles, I think we become suzerain of Nambadol. I'm not sure. Uh, well, we'll have to um, keep an eye on that. That's something to consider anyway. Because <clears throat> the extra, extra culture generation would be nice, but we probably won't need it once we take out Pericles. So, yeah, any, any thoughts on that? Um, you know, what I should do with them? Um, I'll take all advice on board. Quite, yeah, I know about Tokyo. Not much I can do with them right now. Uh, yeah, I'd appreciate any advice uh, on what I should do with them. Take all I ideas on board. I'm slowly building a workshop here in Osaka. Which will uh, help our um, production considerably. Takazaki is unfortunately growing very, very slowly. So we've got enough for a guru. I don't think we have any more campuses, do we? Yeah, I threw a university in here. I've got one there, and I've got one there. Um, I didn't even check if I have any campuses in these cities, which I don't think I do, actually. <laughs> Getting one in Rhodes might be an idea. Possibly. Or one in Athens. Actually, a campus in Athens, yes. So yeah, that's going to be the plan for Athens. Now, with the, uh, my caravels, I did, I've got three of those, so um, I will be making those into an armada. A fleet, then an armada, of course. And seven turns till we get our harbour in Alexandria. And yet another great person. Okay. Oh, finally got our great admiral. So, what do you give us? Instance, instantly creates an ironclad? Oh, yeah. Okay, we discovered some... Uh... Huh, interesting. Alright, well, let's create that ironclad, because <laughs> we don't even have the tech yet. So, and that'll give us an era score boost. Ooh, 
we don't even have coal. Like, I don't even know how we have that. But, okay. That's awesome. Wow, that's huge. So let's see where these, um, tribal villages are. Hmm. They're all down here. You've built a city all the way over here. How close are we, actually? Alright, you, you're the one with plus 20 strength, so I think I'm going to send you this way. It'll be touch and go, see so if we can get these. But that's, that's all the tribal villages that we've spotted. And we've uncovered a huge amount of the map since we've just become a suzerain of Kabul for building the um, Great Admiral. So Kabul will be a nice ally to have. Since, okay, what bonuses do we get here? Plus two production in every city with a barracks or stable building when producing units. Awesome. And there's a suzerain bonus. Our units receive double experience from battles they initiate. Well. That'll be very handy indeed. Um, and Hattusa, we got another envoy in. Zanzibar has declared war. And Trajan has declared war on Kumasi. Kumasi? Kumasi? Oh, I see. Well, as long as you leave Jerusalem alone, uh, I'm not really too concerned. So we just got huge era score uh, bonuses then. So that's massive. <coughs> it's funny. <laughs> that's funny getting an ironclad without even getting the tech. Uh, steam power, I believe it is. Yeah, it is. So that should hugely increase our um, military strength. Oh, I'm making a promotion. Okay. Let's take that. So good enough for a missionary. No, I'm going to save it for an apostle. So yeah, that's 919 faith. Well, actually, let's have a look. Okay. It may still be worth buying a, um, a missionary then. Huh. But who can I convert? Hong Kong? Auckland? I think I will. I Yeah, I think I'll do that, actually. So, yeah. You have a holy site. So let's get a missionary. Let's choose production. Uh, so, I wasn't going to build a campus here. No, I wasn't. Uh, saying an industrial zone. Hmm. You know, a granary is probably better. So you can just fortify for me there. Thanks. And that's all I can really do this turn. Ah, there's our caravel. So let's, uh, let's put you up there. So our navy is getting stronger and stronger. 
So now we're in second place with domination. And we have a very strong military. Well, that's, that's good. And we'll be taking full advantage of that very soon. How close are you to... Getting closer and closer. Characteristics of humanism are curiosity. Right, so there's humanism. I know we didn't get the boost for it, but I didn't see us getting a great artist anytime soon. But at least now we can build uh, art museums and archaeological museums. We can also get the Taj Mahal, which is actually a pretty nice uh, wonder, particularly with the bonus error score. Um, so, yeah, who, what's the next one? Ah, the Enlightenment. I think we will grab that. Uh, only because that will give us a boost to, I uh, believe it's uh, scientific theory. Uh, just double check that. Yes, have the Enlightenment Civic. And so then we can start going for Oxford University. Which is a really good uh, wonder to get. So you get two randomly chosen free techs. And, uh, what else do you get? Plus three great scientists per turn, plus two great work, uh, yeah, great works of writing slots. And, so that pl plus 20% science in the city will be, that, I mean, that's, that's massive enough, but the, uh, two free techs, um, and on top of that, the plus three great scientist points is going to be, really handy so we should pull away in science which uh, in turn should make a domination victory all that uh, yeah that just that much easier so I think you guys can just go on alert you can just hang here at Colossus go on alert You can also go on alert. Alright, let's start sending you down to Hong Kong. Let's build this NIDA mine. And you can go there and go on alert. So, yeah, feeling a little bit safer now. Um, they still haven't grabbed these tribal villages yet. <coughs> oh, Colosseum would be so nice to get. Again, not holding my breath though. Now, I'm wondering if I should build an industrial site here or here. That's something to think about. How much money do we have? Um, you know, for the... Hmm, how much is build it? Buying a couple of tiles. So 31 turns until border growth. Can I wait for that? I mean, it's 430. Had to do it. We just straight up had to do it. So let's choose production. We finished the temple there. Um. Production really, really sucks here. 
and we can't build an industrial zone until we go to a size 10 city which it won't be for 24 turns so I think uh, Spy is going to take way too long um, well let's get started on a what and then I can probably switch it over to a industrial zone yeah alright you're starting to offer something a bit better oh you want NIDA no you can't have my NIDA how much iron do I have? okay I do have one spare iron so what would you give me for these? Hmm, that's not great. But I do want to start making some better deals with them, so I'll take it for now. So up to size 14 city, we're still behind. Can you stop? No, don't spread that stupid religion over here, thanks. We're still behind Pella in terms of growth. Uh, so... If you can I saw a bank that said 24-hour banking. But I didn't have that much time. Speaking of dad jokes. <laughs> yeah, just go there for me. Alright. Can we reach that fish toll? One, two, three. No, we can't. Hmm. We can throw a farm down there though. It might even be worth just putting a farm down there, even if it's just temporarily, next to the city centre. Or even here, actually. It might be better because then it'll be adjacent to two farms. Yeah, alright. Okay, so we are working on the Enlightenment Civic. But, I think mass... Hmm. How far did the Enlightenment Civic? 20 turns. And this is 51 turns. Well, I think it's worth it, because then we'll get plus one food for the plantations. So, yep. Let's go for it. So by the time we finish, well, we were finished uh, Enlightenment well before scientific theory. So I think that'll be well timed. Okay. So finish the arena. So I uh, can't build a campus just yet. Oh, damn. <clears throat> Your growth sucks. So... You know what? I, th I think I'm going to try for Forbidden City. It's going to take away one of the farms, but... Uh, growth sucks anyway. So, let's put you next to the Theatre District. It's going to take a long time, but... Yeah, I think... Um I need to start on that sooner rather than later. Okay, so Kyoto does have housing issues. Which means we definitely need farms there. And to be honest, a lumber mill wouldn't hurt either. Although, I could just chop that. So, yeah, you keep going there. Get that Nida mine down. Let's check.
is production. It's got the harbour done. And it's telling us about a lighthouse, which is probably not a bad idea. So, we t so then we can get an extra trade route. Although we do need that armory, don't we? Yeah, let's get the armory first. And next turn. Right, ready to start spreading beef turkeyism to Hong Kong. So it's taken almost the uh, entire game so far for us to overtake it, uh, for our culture, sorry, our science to overtake our culture. So most instances I'm normally way ahead, I'm, yeah, I, I have uh, way more science than I do culture. So there's beef turkeyism in Hong Kong. And you want a musketman. Well, that ain't. That is not going to be happening anytime soon. Alright, so let's put down the Nida Mine. Which will greatly improve our production there. Jerusalem, why aren't you fixing your walls, man? Okay, so we've got three builds left. Okay, so what do we do with that? Um, like I said, so farm, farm, chop. So then we head up to Auckland. Are there any barbs there? We'll take the safe safe route, I think. How are these okay, they haven't nabbed the tribal villages just yet. So I'd better hurry. So Norway is now a monarchy, so he's not going to like me since I'm a merchant republic. And once I get these, uh... oh yeah, so once I get these um, social policies, I think I'm going to switch these up. So enough for a guru now. How much is a missionary now? 880. Haven't quite caught up to the price of an apostle. So Pericles has got it. <clears throat> so that means he's got warrior monks now. So we can start moving our troops in. So that will generate us some more faith. <coughs> Excuse me. Start positioning our troops. So yeah, it's a major victory against monks, even with samurai. So 
Just hang there for me. Hang there for me. And you know what? Go down there. Let's put our great general here. No, I won't use you yet. Skip turn. Bring in our crossbowman. I'll just wake you up and... Uh, actually, go down there. Okay. So we're ready for war. Really want those goody huts. So Rome's finished humanism. Uh, okay. Huh. Alright, well, I think since we're denounced, so we've got a heavy war penalty for that. Hmm. But, well, they've denounced like everyone. They don't like anybody. Oh, well, screw it then. Stratiotai, ukomoyo itois dendrois, hote olindai, ura dios katagundai. Yes, we've been over this before, Pericles. Well aware of that. Okay, you can take him out. <laughs> Nicely done. Send in our great general. In fact, I'll put you there. Crossbowman in too far just yet. Let's see how we go with this. Um, she go down there. Okay, well I think the beginning of the war is a good place to leave it, so yeah, we're, uh, hopefully this is another cliffhanger for you, and see how we go against uh, some slightly stronger cities, so this should be a little bit more difficult than the last one, hopefully not too much though, so please join me for that one, um, I'm excited for it, I hope you are too, but until next time folks, take it easy, and bye for now.